find out how many people here use the garbage. Okay, if you don't, please do. How many here recycle by a show of clapping your hands? <laughs> Woo, right on, thank you. The city of Edmonton is a world leader in waste management. It's a beautiful city, I'm a proud Edmontonian. But we actually have a history where we had a garbage crisis back in the 1980s. And what was happening, our landfill was filling up way too fast. And so we thought we had to build a new landfill, so we asked communities around Edmonton within 100 kilometers, Let, can we build a landfill in your backyard? And what was the answer? No! No one wanted Edmonton's garbage. And as you can see, Edmontonians are sometimes famous for making lots of garbage. This is a type of waste that we cannot recycle. It does go into the garbage but we cannot recover it as compost. And the city of Edmonton does a lot of composting, but this kind of material, as you can see, carpet and carpet underlay cannot be uh, composted. It does go to the landfill, and our landfill was filling up so unbelievably fast that we had to come up with some other recovery solutions to deal with all of our waste. So here we have the Clover Bar landfill. This is out at our site. And this landfill was filling up extremely fast. So we needed to recover waste. Thus was the Edmonton Waste Management Center. This is a world-class facility in your backyard that deals with waste in an unbelievably remarkable way. We compost, we will recycle, and we're also now planning a waste energy facility inside of our uh, waste management center. This is not, uh, look at our landfill gas plant. This is the generators that make over 4.8 megawatts of power from the methane that comes from our landfill. Now our landfill can generate up to thousands and thousands of hot air balloons of methane every day. We can now recover that in the form of electricity. Our landfill closed in 2009 and we made a big building called the IPTF, the Integrated Processing and Transfer Facility, and now the garbage goes inside, not outside. One of my grade four students said, why do you bring the garbage inside? Because we want to start to process the waste, and that's what the city of Edmonton does. Here's some RDF. This stands for refuse-derived fuel. This is things like cereal bags, candy wrappers, and even your polyester leisure suit. All that stuff that typically cannot be composted or recycled, that is very carbon rich. A lot of this comes from the biomass from our environment. And we want to shred this waste up and be able to recover it. Now the city's been very, very fortunate that we've had a lot of industry and government support to make one of the first world-class waste management centers in Edmonton, along with our waste energy facility. So in Edmonton, we are very lucky that we can now start to recover the vast majority of our wastes. We're also a leader in research. This is the Advanced Energy Research Facility, and right in our backyard as well, we are creating a new branch of old sciences that are helping us to maximize the recovery of waste. This is a facility that will help us to recover waste from waste to energy in a remarkable way. That's the small one, we're gonna make a big one. And this is the Enercam project. This is a company from Montreal making this biofuels facility in the city. This job of this plant is to actually take shredded garbage, heat it up to a temperature of over 750 degrees. That's one fifth out of the surface of the sun. It's done inside of this chamber. This is an enclosed chamber where we can react all that material and literally rip the molecules apart. Now I have to say I love molecules because I'm made up of them. And we can take all those molecules from that garbage and start to use them in a unique way. We make something called a syn gas. Syn gas is very similar to natural gas. It's made up of, as you can see here, that's carbon monoxide and molecular hydrogen. We will take this out of your garbage create this gas, and then we will go through a remarkable process called catalytic synthesis and turn that into a methanol molecule. Now, this is one of my all-time favorite molecules. I've been a science fan all my life. Is that geeky or nerdy? I'm not sure which. Both? Okay, very good. All right, both. Good. We're going to take that methanol molecule, and it is a remarkable energy source. And it can be used for so many things. We can use it as a transportation fuel. And in your homes, ladies and gentlemen, there are over hundreds and hundreds of materials that come from this molecule. And this molecule can not only be a fuel source, but it can be something as easy as a carpet 
in your own home. Now, one of our neat ideas to deal with this waste energy is to take our garbage truck fleet, remove the diesel engines, and replace them with ethanol engines. So Edmonton's garbage will now collect Edmonton's garbage. And this is a huge environmental savings. So we are excited with waste energy in our city, but there's some waste from the waste. And up on screen right now, you're seeing a look at what is called GSR. That is on the left and the char is on the right. And that lovely GSR is actually like an aggregate that we can use in concrete. So even the waste from the waste won't go to waste. Okay, so that's good news. Here's our current diversion. In 2012, 20% of our waste was recovered in the reform of recyclables. 40% of our waste was recovered as compost. And those three red cans there represent the biofuels. 36 million liters of methanol is our plan to be made, and over 90% of our waste will be recovered here in the city of Edmonton, one of the highest waste diversion rates out of any city in the world, ultimately benefiting the environment. So I have a really big favor to ask each and every one of you in this room today. I ask you kindly, please, 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 know before you throw, put the right thing into the garbage so that we can recover as much carbon as we can so that we can prevent less waste going into the landfill for the sake of our world, our earth, our home. Thank you.